Hello, welcome to this new video. Today, I'm going to make an ugly RC boat. So, an ugly remote control boat. I really want to make my own remote control boat, but the thing is, I don't really know how. So my plan is to make a prototype, that's what we're going to do with this video, and then we'll just improve it bit by bit. I'm hoping we can make a little series out of it, where we take on the prototype and develop it into one man boat. Anyway, we're going to make this boat using the circuit of this RC car I'm taking apart. It's ideal for this boat, as it has two motors, which we can turn into two propellers. This way of steering makes things a little easier, though I do want to try out steering with a rudder in a future video. Let's take a look at the circuit. So, of course we have the on and off button, which doesn't require explanation. Then we have the antenna cable for receiving the signal from the remote. We don't really care about these components for the boat. When we look at the other side, we see some interesting stuff. Starting off with the first output, M1. This goes to motor 1. We control this output with the remote. Then going to M2, as you might have guessed, this goes to the second motor, which is also controlled by the remote. Below M1 and M2, we have an unused output, LD1. This is not controlled by the remote, but is constantly on. The same goes for LD2. There are probably four optional LEDs. And last but not least, we have the power input. The batteries are connected to this and provide the whole thing from power. Let's look at the voltmeter. The batteries have a total power of around 6 volts. When we connect the meter to LD2, we get a constant power of 6 volt, without having to press any buttons. Same goes for LD1. Then when we connect the meter to M2, we see it only gives power of 6 volt when we press the button. You can see it gives a negative potential when we turn the stick down, and a positive potential when we turn it up. This makes the motor spin left and right. And of course, M2 gives the same result but is controlled by the other stick. Now, I kind of freehanded the boat itself, as it's just a prototype, and because I've got no clue how to make a curving boat with straight cardboard. I started off with the main shape of the boat, which will be the backside. When I finished the sides, I just stuck it together, so I could get a better look at it to see what I had to do next, which was starting with the curve of the boat.
With the bottom panels in place, I had to figure out the cutting angle to fit them together, which I also freehanded. It worked out pretty well, I just had to finish up the front with some triangular pieces. Here's the final shape. Now let's glue it together. When that was done, it of course had to become waterproof. I just used a bunch of clear tape for this. Now, the moment of truth. For the propellers, I could luckily download a 3D file and print them out. I just had to cut away the supports and they were ready to go. To connect the propellers to the motors I had to create some axles long enough to be in the water and not let any water through. To do that I grabbed some steel wire and bent it as straight as possible. I did this later off camera because it took very long. I collected the hollow tube from an empty pen and used that as a guiding tube for the steel wire. To finish them off, I glued the propellers in place and applied some oil to the axles. Lastly, I made sure that the axles couldn't fall out.
After both were done, I put them back in the boat and waterproofed the fit with some hot glue. Then it was time to put the circuit in place. I got rid of the gears on the motor and took some heat shrink tubing to act as a connector from the motors to the propeller axles. When that was done, I rearranged everything in the boat and it was time for a test. Wow! To stop the circuit from getting wet, I quickly cut out a top for the boat. I added a little latch for if I had to replace the batteries when necessary. To finish it off, I made a little support for the axles. They weren't completely straight, so they vibrated a lot. The support slightly helped this problem. Then the boat was done. I quickly tested it in the bathtub and it seemed to work. It was time to move to the little ditch next to my house. Yes, 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 yes,